from Channel 6 for the Heartland, WOWT, Omaha. This is a Channel 6 News Update. This update is sponsored by Commercial Federal Bank, where you can choose from free software or $10 when you open a new free checking account. Hello, I'm Don Hudson. NBC is taking a break from the Olympics right now so we can bring you the latest headlines from the Channel 6 Newsroom. Now, Channel 6 first broke the story. Now the state patrol is investigating. We're talking about the fact that names of dead voters are turning up on ballot petitions. Election workers are checking signatures on five petition drives before the issues actually go before voters in November. But with the names of dead voters turning up, the state patrol is now doing checks of its own. Well, how would you feel if you recently lost a loved one and your loved one's name turned up on one of those petitions? Tonight after the games, one family reacts. Their father's name is on two of the petitions and they're not happy. Mike McKnight continues his investigation again after the games. Investigators tonight are listening to the cockpit recorder from flight 800 of TWA. So far, not much to report except the presence of a strange sound about 11 and a half minutes into that flight. Well, bad weather is often to blame for slick roads, but today at 38th and Dodge in Omaha was a 300-gallon vat of fat that was to blame. The vat tip spilling grease everywhere as a garbage hauler was trying to empty it. Only one fender bender to report, and it's certainly one of the more unusual calls for Omaha firefighters, at least in some time. Now here's Jim with our forecast. Thanks, Don. The clouds have been increasing off to our west and off to the northwest during the late afternoon hours. Quite a few showers and storms building from the central Rockies into the high plains of Nebraska and western Kansas. Also, moisture is increasing over south central Canada. The late day radar chart has been showing a lot of rain off to our west, even some severe reports coming in from western Nebraska associated with this particular line as it sinks toward the southeast. Otherwise, around the country, uh, showers from the Gulf Coast into the southeast, including Atlanta today, where temperatures were in the 70s. Our computer forecast right now, as far as rainfall, they're indicating that the heaviest rain should fall from about Rapid City to North Platte, where it's occurring this evening. And this whole area will be swinging southeast to encompass, encompass portions of southeastern Kansas and western Missouri. I'll have a complete look at the weekend forecast, including an updated rainfall forecast tonight a little bit later on. Before that, Dave's in with a look at sports. Thanks, Jim. The Nebraska State Women's Match Play Golf Championship will be decided tomorrow at Riverside Course in Grand Island. Defending match play champion Heidi Stark will take on 15-time state champion Susan Marchese in the 18-hole finale. Stark eliminated Sari Sassi today, while Marchese beat Susie Duff in the semifinals. Ten of the 12 Big 12 football coaches are in St. Louis this week to meet the media. The first conference preseason poll came out today, and Nebraska is on top, followed by Colorado, Texas, and Texas A&M. Iowa State and Missouri round out the first poll. The Huskers dominated the preseason all-conference selections, placing eight players in the top 24. Offensive linemen included Chris Dishman, Aaron Taylor, and Eric Anderson. Running back Amon Green, Iowa State running back Troy Davis, also named Offensive Player of the Year. On defense, Huskers Terrell Farley, Jared Tomich, named Defensive Player of the Year, Grant Wistrom and Mike Minter, and Iowa State punter Mark Harris. Now for the latest on the Olympics, let's go to John Nicely in Atlanta. These Olympic Games have brought in more than 2 million people to the city of Atlanta. And of course, with the crowds comes lots of money. But not every businessman who expected to cash in has done so. You see the empty streets in Buckhead. That's a ritzy area that is a bit of a drive from the venues. And this young man was counting on more traffic. I feel disappointed because I'm not making the money that I thought I was going to be making. I thought that we, we, we all thought that everyone from my valet company thought we were going to be making some serious money during the Olympics. And so far, we've been losing money, actually. There is more than a week left in the game, so maybe business will pick up. But not everybody is cashing in. Coming up at 11, we'll hear from a UNO graduate who has a huge job in these Olympic Games. In Atlanta, I'm John Nicely. Thanks, John. Now a program note, during the Olympics, our late news will air at 11 o'clock. But viewers with Cox Cable can see the Channel 6 News 10 at 10 on Cox Cable Channel 1 every night at 10 o'clock. Our entire newscast with 10 minutes of nonstop news, weather and sports will air at 11 o'clock on our regular channel. That wraps up our latest coverage from the Heartland at this time. I'm Don Hudson. We'll see you later. This has been a Channel 6 News update, sponsored by... Commercial Federal Bank, where you can choose from free software or $10 when you open a new free checking account.